Hello everyone, I wanted to put this video out. I know the division beta has uh, kind of ended. There's going to be another division beta coming out fairly soon. I'm not sure the exact date. Uh, I'll put it in the description if I uh, ac actually find it when this video goes up. But I wanted to make this video. This is the Madison Field Hospital mission from the beta. The only mission that was really playable. The only actual like on rails mission that it gave you directions on what to do. That wasn't just kind of like a free roam thing throughout the world. Um, this is a pretty cool mission. I actually enjoyed playing it, enjoyed refining it, and playing it on hard mode, and and you know, kind of getting a speed run down almost. Um, this was definitely not my fastest run, but it was a pretty good sized run, and I wanted to just kind of show off the mission. Um, another thing I do want to talk about is a huge announcement for Destiny. Destiny 2 has been confirmed for 2017. We don't know when. Um, it could be any time. I'm assuming probably in early 2017. It's, did I say 2016? I, I, I meant 2017 if I did say 2016, but it's 2017 release. Um, yeah, I'm assuming an early 2017 release, probably like March uh, in there. Uh, so that's going to be Destiny 2, but they are also putting out a new expansion um, later this year, 2016. So I'm assuming that'll be probably a September-ish release, maybe even an August release. But there is going to be a spring update bringing out... Um, more light levels and refreshed PvE content, so some different raid challenges I, I'd imagine, and um, new exotics, things like that, and you're going to be able to level up more uh, on your light levels, so that's pretty cool. We at least have uh, kind of a roadmap now for Destiny that's really, really good. I kind of want to talk about Destiny as a whole in another video, uh, because I did actually tweet out about a week ago that I was quitting Destiny for the time being. Um, so if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, that's a really good place to, you know, keep up with what I'm doing. Um, I'll link that in the description below if I remember as well. Um, but yeah, I think that decision stands. I did play a little bit of Crimson Doubles uh, this week, and it was pretty fun. Uh, I, I want to maybe continue playing it with a few other friends. Uh, I actually have had a better experience in Crimson Doubles than a lot of other people have. Um, a lot of people are saying it's really char-hardy, people are using Thorn, and... Uh, they implemented a special ammo change where you don't spawn in with special ammo anymore, so no snipers or shotguns at the beginning of a match, and people are just kind of circumventing that by using icebreaker or sidearms, and then when they die, they switch to their other weapons, and they just automatically get special ammo. So there are some kind of, I don't want to say exploits, but some workarounds that are kind of cheesy uh, that are in PvP, but I haven't really experienced that too much. I haven't experienced Thorn, I haven't experienced Icebreaker in, yet in uh, Crimson Doubles, so for me, Crimson Doubles is pretty fun, and I had some pretty cool moments there. Um, so I'll definitely be posting any clips that I get from Crimson Doubles, but until... Um, this spring update, I'm going to be playing majority Halo 5 and Black Ops 3. Hope you guys don't mind that. Um, and, you know, when the Division comes out, I may or may not get that because definitely a lot of people are interested in it. I'm not sure if I am, um, but if some other people are going to get it for Xbox, then I will probably end up snagging it as well just to play with them. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are still enjoying these videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. I uh, hope you're all having an amazing day, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys are all excited for Destiny 2 and the new expansions and all that stuff as I am, because Destiny absolutely needs a refresh, and, you know, it's okay to take a break from it, that's what I'm planning to do. I think you guys should probably do the same, unless you guys are still absolutely into the game, but those of you who are burnt out on it, who, you know, PvP just isn't fun, or PvE just can't get you anything anymore, just take a break, play some other games if you want, you know, if you have any other games, and uh, don't grind it too much, because, you know, you don't really have to worry about that much, because, uh, if I understand correctly, most of the light level gear is going to be obsolete, you know, you're going to be able to do other, you know, the raid stuff, or whatever they're going to add in the spring to uh, reach a higher light level, anyways, so, um, I would recommend definitely just taking a break from Destiny for the time being, and it'll come back to us in spring. I'm really excited that Bungie actually gave us this little uh, this little sneak peek into their plan. I think it's long overdue, and I'm really excited for it. But I'll let the gameplay roll. Um, 
you know, you guys haven't really seen that much division on my channel besides that one funny clip I put out. There are going to be some odd transitions coming up here. Uh, that's because obviously I have to record in five minute increments on my Xbox. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind that, but it is all part of the same gameplay. I don't end up dying this mission even though it's on hard and I'm doing it solo. So I hope you guys enjoy and, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Candle and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. Word is that they've really trashed the place. It would have broken my dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games there together. I think it's better my folks didn't live to see any of this, but... Then I think about all the people doing their best to keep going. That's who we do this for, Agent. Go get them. To get to Kobe's, you'll have to pass by some contaminated areas. There used to be plenty of sick people being treated there before they got shot. So be careful. Keep your heads down and keep it quiet. Morning. Hostiles detected. The escort party's taking heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. We're pinned down! There's no way we'll make it across alive unless some of you get up there and take out the big guns! All yours, Agent. Alpha Escort, we have an agent on the roof. Has Candle made it to your position? Affirmative. She and her staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely.
Additional hostiles incoming. Got the medics safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. 